Hi guys, welcome to our latest YouTube video, we hope you like it. We try to publish videos every week bringing great tips and tricks. Thanks for watching please subscribe. In this section I want to show you how you can create relationships between different data sets and pull them into a single pivot table. So on this side, this is a pivot table, but you've got different tables within this box. So there's customers, there's products, and there's sales. So there's three separate tables in here. Now to do that, I'm going to use the Power Pivot window, and I'm going to insert each of these tables. They're all formatted as a table. You can tell that because it says table design into the Power Pivot window. Now, if you haven't got that Power Pivot tab, you need to click on Data, and click on this little green button, which will activate it, and then select Enable. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy these three tables out, copy into a new file. Control N for new, Control V for paste. So paste them in there. And then this is what you do. You go to the Power Pivot window. And if the data is in the same file, so I want you to look at this as separate sheets. These are all different sheets, say. They could even be in different files. But if they're in the same file, you can just go add to data model and then it will open up the Power Pivot window and it will put that information into the window. And you can see it coming up there. It says customers. Now I'm going to just mini, mini, minimize that a minute so you can see how it works. I'll click in this little gray table. I'll add that to the data model. So that does the same. It's dropping that in there, products. And then I'll do the same with this blue table, green headings, add. So I've added all three of these tables, formatted tables into the Power Pivot window. And then I'll make that bigger so we can see what we're doing. So there they are, you've got them in here. Now what you can do is go over to this side where it says view and click on diagram view, which you'll then see it looks very similar to Microsoft Access. You can just move these about. But this is where you can create the relationship. So for example, one customer can have many sales. So that's a one to many link it should do. One product can be sold many times. And that'll be a one to many link as well. You can just move these over. Now, once you've done that, you can create your pivot table. Pivot table, and you get all these extra options, look. So I could have four charts, pivot table, or I can just do what we've been doing. Well, I'll do that one, single pivot table. It just creates it. I'll say new worksheet. OK, and it's a case of doing the same sort of thing. So there's customers, there's products, there's sales. So I'm going to open customers and I want customer name to come into roles, which will give me a list of customers. Coming down this list to products, opening up products, and I want product name in columns, which will list the products. And then the final one is sales where you want sales quantity into values. So then it gives you the scores on the doors for how many items have been sold and which company has bought that. So that's a quick example of how you can pull data from multiple sheets into the Power Pivot window and then drop it into a pivot table. That's all I want to talk about on that one. In this module, I want to show you how you can get data from multiple files and pull them into Power Pivot and then create a pivot table from those files. So the first step is to get into the Power Pivot window. So I'm clicking on the Power Pivot tab. I'm clicking on Manage. And then I need to get the data into this window. Just make that full screen. This is the feature I'm going to use from other source. Scrolling down to find Excel. Following the wizard through. I'm going to leave the name for this connection as Excel. But I'm, I'm browsing for the files that I want. So customer. That's an Excel file. It's important that you tick that option. As it says there, first row will be the column headers. Follow it next. And then finish. And then that will drop that in. And then you can close this box down. What it doesn't do, it doesn't name it as a sheet. So I'm going to name that customers. And then I'm going to bring the next one in. So other source, scroll down to Excel. Follow it through. Next, browse products this time. Tick in this little box. Follow it through again. Finish the wizard. Close this box down. Rename the sheet. 
products. And then finally bring the last one in, which is a sales data, same process, Excel, next, browse, sales data, tick the little box, follow it through, finish it off, close this box, and then rename the sheet. I'll just call the sheet sales. Now what you can do, similar to what shown in it, earlier video is you can go to diagram view and then you can do the links that will relate all of this information so customer number the customer number product product number the product so one customer can have many sales and one one product can be sold many times once you've done that link you go to your pivot table option and select any one of these i'm going for the top one it brings me back into Excel. I'm clicking OK to that to put it onto a new sheet. But there's now three separate files now where I can open up and place information where I want it to go from each file. So that's a list of customers. Now I want a list of products. So I'm bringing the products in. So that's a list of products. And then from the sales table, I want a quantity in the values area, which basically tells me which company has bought which product. So that's all I want to cover on this little session.